I'm fuming. I'm not even joking. It is impossible for me to lose weight. Impossible. I have tried every single day this week to stick to my diet and every single day I've ended the day inhaling a giant bar of dairy milk. People say eat less, move more. I'm trying to eat less, I'm trying to move more. And then I get to the end of the day and oh, I'm such a failure. First of all, number one, you're not a failure. Number two, you're not the problem, okay? So tell me what you're eating throughout the day. Tell me about this diet that you can't stick to. Okay, I'll tell you what I'm eating, but just be warned, it's healthy, okay? So for breakfast, I'm having porridge. I'm having a snack mid-morning. I'm having like a cup of tea and a skinny 99 calorie cereal bar. It's 99 calories and it says skinny on the packet. So, <laughs> and for lunch, I'm having soup, vegetable soup. These 200 calories in the whole tin and I'm just having half a tin. And then I get to three o'clock and then I'm pretty hungry at three. So I just have a cup of tea to like dull the hunger. And then when I get home, that's when I'm inhaling the dairy milk. I'm not gonna lie, like I am ravenous. I just wanna tell you the reason you can't stick to your diet is not because you don't have any willpower. It's not because you don't have any motivation. It's because of food that you're choosing throughout the day isn't really a great choice to keep you full. So what we want to aim for is yes, we do want to eat less, we want to be in a calorie deficit. But you're not able to be in a calorie deficit because you're consuming a whole bar of dairy milk at the end of the day. That's because of the food choices throughout the day are actually leading you to make that choice. In porridge for your breakfast, it's a great choice. However, in porridge, they're oats, and that's mainly a carbohydrate. Carbs are great. We want to include them in our diet. They're a great source of energy. However, when we have carbohydrates on their own, our body breaks carbohydrates down quite quickly so that's why you feel like you need a cereal bar as a mid-morning snack if uh, we add some protein in with your carbohydrate number one protein helps you to feel full protein will also slow down the absorption of carbohydrate what you probably find more beneficial is having protein fat and carbohydrates for breakfast and that's going to give you long lasting energy to see you through to lunch now i know your cereal bar is 99 calories but just because it's 99 calories doesn't mean it's a great choice for a snack the cereal bar that you showed me is just carbohydrates it's sugar the body's going to break that down very very quickly and it's not really going to keep you full to your next meal you're having vegetable soup for your lunch again vegetables are great we need them number one there's hardly any calories in that tin that's not going to keep you full as a meal vegetables are actually carbohydrates and again there's nothing wrong with carbohydrates but just having carbohydrates on their own they're not really a great choice for keeping us full if we balance our meals throughout the day it's going to keep us full for longer we're not going to have that one inhaling a massive bar of chocolate you could still have some chocolate because you're not absolutely starving just have two squares instead of the full bar and then that's not going to take you over your calorie deficit oh my god so it's not me i'm not the problem oh, okay i feel so much better now